Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing polynomials. This time, we will use the long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is the first example in our today's video. And we have 2x cubed plus x squared minus 6x minus 8. This is your dividend to be divided by your divisor x minus 2. So how do we divide using long division? Here are the four different steps or basic steps that we have. First, you need to divide, followed by multiply, subtract, and bring down. We will continue this entire process until we can get the quotient. So let's get started. First, we will divide. Now, you might be confused, are we going to divide this entire polynomial by the divisor at the, at the first step? No. You will just start with the first term. This is the first term of your dividend and to be divided by the first term of your divisor. So it goes like this. You have 2x cubed divided by x. As you can see, when we simplify x cubed over x, that is x squared, and we will copy the coefficient, which is 2. So 2x cubed divided by x is 2x squared. Next, multiply. For the multiplication part, you will multiply this to the entire divisor. So it goes like this. 2x squared times x, that is 2x cubed. 2x squared times negative 2, that is negative 4x squared. So we are done dividing, multiplying. Now, we will do the subtraction. For the subtraction part, it might confuse you about this step. But always remember, na kapag subtract ka, it will lead you to addition. So anong ibig sabihin doon? What will happen is that this subtraction symbol will become addition. Again, it will lead you to addition. The subtraction symbol will become addition. And what will happen to the signs of these two terms? They will change. From positive, this is positive, huh? positive to x cubed, it will become negative. This negative sign will become positive. Now let's add them. We have 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed that is equal to 0. x squared plus positive 4x squared. This is positive, huh? So this is plus 5x squared because we have here a coefficient of 1. So what will happen, after subtracting, we will do the bring down we will bring down negative 6x. So again, we will go back with divide. So we will divide this first term again, 5x squared divided by the first term of your divisor. So as you can see, the answer is plus 5x. And after that, you will multiply this 5x to the entire divisor. 5x squared times x, or 5x times x, that is 5x squared. And then 5x times negative 2, that is negative 10x. So we're done multiplying. Now we will subtract, subtract this entire polynomial. So what will happen? This will become addition. From positive, it will become negative. From negative, it will become positive. So we have here 5x squared plus negative 5x squared. That is 0. Negative 6x plus positive 10x. That is plus 4x. So what will happen is we will do the bring down. Bring down negative 8. Now we will start over here. Divide again, start with 4x, 4x divided by x, that is 
plus 4. And next, we will multiply this to the entire divisor 4 times x, that is 4x. 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. So what we need to do is we will subtract. So what will happen? From subtraction, it will become addition. From positive, it will become negative. This negative will become positive. So what will happen here? This is 0. This is also 0. And as you can see, we don't have a remainder. Meaning, the answer for the first polynomial 2x cubed plus x squared minus 6x minus 8 divided by x squared minus 2 is simply 2x squared plus 5x plus 4. Okay? So I hope you learned something from the first example. And now let's continue with example number 2. As you can see, we have a list of the steps. And I hope na you can still remember the four different steps that we have. So let's start. 2x squared divided by x, that is 2x. Remember, we will multiply this here and here. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x. Then we will subtract. So again, let me change this sign. So become negative. This will become positive. So add them. 2x squared plus negative 2x squared. This is 0 automatic. So I will not put 0 again. Here 7x plus positive 6x. This is definitely 13x. Now you will do the bring down. This is minus 4. So we will start here again and divide this by the first term of your divisor. 13x divided by x. So it goes like this. 13 x over x cancel cancel that is 13 so this is plus 13 multiply 13 times x is 13 x 13 times negative 3 that is negative 39 so we will subtract what will happen this Subtraction will become addition. This positive will become negative. This negative will become positive. So what will happen here? 13x plus negative 13x is 0. F negative 4 plus positive 39 is positive 35. Now, as you can see, comparing this example from the first example, here, we have the remainder of 35. On the, uh, on the first example, the remainder is 0. So, this one is a bit problem on how we, will you express your final answer. Now, don't worry because we have a form on how to write your quotient. As for the quotient of 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 divided by x minus 3, Ito yung way natin on how to write the quotient. Copy first the quotient. Then you have 2x plus 13. And for the remainder, put here plus. Then copy your remainder 35. 35 over. Copy your divisor x minus 3. And this is now the answer for item number 2. So... I hope guys you learned something from this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!